Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your qualifying review to the Singapore Grand Prix. Carlos Sainz is on pole position ahead of George Russell and Charles Leclerc. Wow, that was an unbelievable qualifying session. It had absolutely everything. You had the world champions, Reds will both miss out on Q3. I mean, their car is like an absolute handful. I can remember when Mercedes had competitive cars and this circuit, and it seemed to have affected them really badly. The handling of the Red Bull today was all over the place, but hopefully that means another team is finally going to win an F1 race this season, which I am absolutely hoping that someone else can win. Whether it's us, Ferrari, of course I'll not get it to be Ferrari because at the end of the day they are my team. But if Mercedes win, McLaren win, Ferrari, I'll be happy with any of them three teams winning. I just want to see a different winner because Red Bull winning every race is really bad and kind of sorts. But their car just, I don't know what on earth was going on, but... The hand in him was all over the place. Liam Lawson made it through to Q3. He was the one who knocked Max Verstappen out. That Mexican shithouse, Sergio Perez, dropped it and spun it. He didn't stay comfortable in the car either. Lance Stroll, you know me, I'm no fan of Lance Stroll, but I am absolutely so relieved he is okay after that huge crash what happened near the end of Q1, but he is totally out of his debt. He needs putting out of his misery, seriously. And obviously, Logan Sargent needs putting out of his misery as well. Alex Albon, he got through to Q2, but that was the best he could do. The Williams just does not seem to suit this circuit for some reason. So, yeah, I believe that's the maximum Alex Albon could get out of the car. Haas, a big shout out to Haas. I mean, wow, both the Haases screwed to Q3. That is absolutely unbelievable. And Kevin Magnussen, my star at qualifying, you know, P6. We fast for a performance by like Kevin Magnussen, who's been one of the worst drivers this season on the F1 grid. And he's delivered fair play. What an unbelievable performance by Gavin Magnussen today. Out qualifies Nico Hulkenberg, his teammate as well. That is absolutely unbelievable by the Danish driver. George Russell, he has my driver's number, Lewis Housen's, so far in this weekend. I mean, Lewis has seen nowhere near George Russell so far. Houghton is P5, Fernando Alonso P7. I gotta say, that's disappointing for Aston Martin, but one driver I feel so sorry for is Yuki Snowder. I mean, Yuki Snowder, how unlucky was he? He got impeded by the Red Bull, but Max Verstappen only has a reprimand, no penalty, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. He is the most protective protected driver in F1 and also so is the team as well it's just that is why I cannot stand Red's Wall man honestly just wow unbelievable but I cannot believe Max got away with that he just got two reprimands points which that is absolutely nothing a penalty would have been more worthy because one for one got completely impeded. It's an absolute joke. But well done to Liam Lawson for making him free to Q3. He's doing absolutely superb. Daniel Ricciardo back watching on the sidelines. I mean, I cannot see him in the Alpha Tower for the rest of the season. Not how Liam Lawson is performing. It'd be so unfair to drop Liam Lawson now. You cannot drop Liam Lawson he is doing a superb job. Comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply. And wow. Is today. Is tomorrow the day. We're going to finally see. A different team winning in F1 this season. I really hope so. I really hope Ferrari. Are the ones. 
to become the only second team to win this season. Like I said, or I don't mind against Mercedes or Aston Martin or McLaren. Because obviously McLaren are my second team, so I'll be delighted if they win. But yeah, I cannot wait for the Grand Prix tomorrow. Join me tomorrow for a race review. Then Monday for driver ratings and team ratings. I will be doing a video on my football channel, a match reaction to Newcastle United versus Brentford. And if you're not checked out my Manchester United match reaction, please check that out. Oh, I was fuming, honestly. Bye-bye.